institution of sabotaging him. But this is not about the judiciary. This is about where Ruto wishes to take Kenya and what it means for Kenyans. Having captured parliament, Ruto now wants to intimidate, subdue, and capture the judiciary. He wants the judges not to hear cases against his policies, dismiss such cases, or always rule in his favor. In other words, Ruto wants to establish an absolute dictatorship. Our judiciary is imperfect. It has corrupt elements. But Ruto cannot convince us that the judiciary is more corrupt than the executive branch of the government, which he leads. Corruption resides in the executive. The worst case of executive corruption of impunity right now is the acquittal of Mr. Henry Rotich over the Aurora and Kimare dams. We are hoping 63 billion Kenya shillings was lost. The executive went all out to ensure witnesses were never summoned or those summoned were never questioned. We appeal to the judiciary to stand firm in defense of the professionalism, independence, rule of law, and constitutionalism. In this judiciary, I see products of the old struggle against a vicious dictatorship. I trust that they will not allow ju judicial proceedings and decisions to be determined by Ruto's tantrums. With all its weaknesses and challenges, the judiciary, alongside external vigilance by citizens, remains our best bet against a return to dictatorship. On the subject of Mr. Ruto's latest strange rage, the judiciary is too critical to be to the well-being of our country and our democracy, making it extremely important that we call Ruto out and tell him that he has crossed the line. It remains our position to date that disobeying court rulings is a sure path to chaos and the collapse of a nation. Mr. Ruto has captured parliament and bills now come straight from state house and get ratified by the lawmakers. Sometimes up to two bills or three are ratified in one afternoon. There's no debate in Bungi these days on, on bills. Sasa yale ambaye anafanya sasa ni vitisho. Jaribu kutisha mahakama, eti mahakama inapewa rushwa, ndi watu wa muzi dhidi ya serikali. Na yanasema ye sasa uh, hata ishimu wa muzi ya mahakama. Atendelea kufanya kazi yake hata dhidi ya wa muzi ya mahakama. Iyo nye inanyesha kwa mba nataka ku wacha utawala ya kisheria na kikatiba na kutawala nchi kwa njia ya diktator. Njiso mutu wa kiaongea hiyo luga ambaye naongea hiyo luga ajue hili kita ambaye napanya. Iyo nataka nchi hii itakete. Manake kama nasema hii hawezo kishimu ishimu sheria na wakenya wengine walisema kama sirikali kama raisi wenyewe hawezo kishimu Sheria na wamuzi wa, wa umakama. Kusawabu gani sisi wenyewe tusurutishi kwa shimu. Na hiyo ni njia moja ya kupeleka nchi kaburini. Ni sababu tumambia maruto, shimu, makama. Mbile mbile sijaribu kuteka makama nyara. Ati makama iwe ni kama karagusi ya sirikali. Wacha wakama wafanya kazi yao kulegana na sheria na katiba vili mewekwa. Na kufuata sheria hiyo. Kama si wakama mwesema hii ni, ni, ni mbaya, heshimu. Kama wewe we, unaweza kukata rufa kwa hiyo mahakama. Pako fiki kule juu kileleni huko 
pale ambaye huko ni marafiki yako 